Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 19th series of uh, Principles of Drug Discovery. In this, uh, we are going to see about uh, the levels of protein structure. Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics uh, channel. Uh, let us see about uh, proteins, what are their structures, what are their applications. So, uh, the structure of uh, three dimensional structure of uh, proteins was published by Max Perutz in the year uh, 1962, where he got a uh, Nobel Prize for it. Uh, proteins are nothing but a connection of uh, amino acids. So, there are around uh, 20 amino acids. The essential amino acids are 9. You can use this uh, code to remember the essential amino acids. Try this uh, VIP mall. Try tryptophan and uh, T-his, that is threonine and histidine. VIP is uh, valine, isoleucine and uh, phenylalanine. Mall, methionine, uh, leucine and lysine. You just ignore a small A. And 11 amino acids, uh, you just remember uh, Katappa was having, uh, uh, we killed Bahubali because Bahubali had 3G mobile. So the C stands for cysteine, A for alanine, T for tyrosine, A for arginine, P for proline, and WA asparagine and aspartic acid, S for serine, and 3G that is glutamate, glutamine, and glycine. Apart from this, there are the subclassifications of amino acids based on the acidity. There may be acidic or neutral amino acids, basic amino acids. And based on the substitutions in the beta uh, alpha carbon, it may be alpha or beta or gamma or delta amino acids. Why we should know about the proteins? Proteins are complex macromolecules essential for various biological functions. They have different levels of structural organization, each playing a crucial role in determining their shape and function. So, the determination of protein structure is of paramount importance in drug discovery and pharmaceutical research. So, understanding the 3D structure of proteins allows scientists to gain insights into the molecular mechanisms of various diseases and identify the potential drug targets. So, uh, the levels of protein structure are four. First one is uh, primary. The next is secondary it appears like uh, ribbons or uh, sheets and then the third one is uh, tertiary and the fourth one is quaternary uh, structure of protein so primary secondary tertiary and quaternary levels of structure are there in the protein structure so primary structure of proteins the primary structure of protein is the linear sequence of amino acids that make up the protein chain amino acids are the building blocks of proteins and their specific order along with the chain determines the unique characteristics and function of each protein. The primary structure is held together by covalent peptide bonds formed between the carboxyl group of one amino acid and the amino acid group of the next amino acid in the sequence. The linkage creates a continuous polypeptide chain. So the primary structure will have this. It will have a amino acid group, a side chain and a carboxyl group. So when the two amino acids, uh, they connect together, it forms a peptide bond. So the, it will have uh, the linear connection of amino acids connected by peptide bonds. So this is uh, first amino acid and this is the second amino acid and it will have the peptide bonds. It will have alpha, phi and psi values. So the sequence of amino acids in the primary structure is a return form of amino acid uh, return from the amino acid terminal and N terminus to the carboxyl uh, terminal that is the C terminal of the protein. Each amino acid in the sequence is uh, represented by one letter or three letter abbreviation code. For example, alanine is represented as A in the one letter code and ala in the three letter code. The primary structure is the foundation of protein structure and function. It determines how the protein will fold into its uh, 3D shape and how it will interact with the other molecules in the cell to carry out its biological functions. Even a small change in the sequence of amino acids can have a significant effects on the protein structure and function which can lead to various diseases and disorders if not functioning correctly. 
amino acid letter code and the protein sequencing so let us see this so this is the amino acid suppose alanine ala that is the three letter code and uh, a is the one letter code for arginine it is a r g and r asparagine it is a s n and n aspartic acid a s b d <coughs> aspartic acid a s b d cysteine c y s and c similarly tyrosine t y r y glutamine g l n q for the 20 amino acids so dna sequencing is actually easier than the protein sequencing edman degradation is a classical method for sequencing proteins it involves uh, sequentially removing the n terminal amino acid from the protein chain and identifying it using chemical reactions so prowl is a collection of tools for the identification of protein sequences using input data derived from mass spectrometry the next is the secondary structure of proteins uh, they are alpha helix and beta sheets the alpha helix will appear like this it will have a amino terminal and a carboxy terminal and the helix each helix will have 3.6 uh, residues per turn so this alpha helix structure is a right handed uh, structure left is also available and the beta sheets uh, they have bondings uh, they are anti parallel and uh, parallel bondings let us see the differences between alpha helical structure and uh, beta sheets of the proteins in alpha helix the interacting interacting residues are continuous in the beta sheets it is not continuous and uh, you know, the different amino acids at a different numberings can form the bonds the alpha helix uh, forms a tightly coiled structure whereas tightly coiled structure is not formed by the beta sheets the hydrogen bonds are parallel whereas the hydrogen bonds are perpendicular in the beta sheets the alpha helix structure can be left or right handed structures beta sheets uh, can be parallel or anti parallel the amino acids in alpha helix uh, which is responsible for alpha helix bonding is uh, methionine alanine leucine glutamic acid and uh, lysine isoleucine valine threonine phenylalanine and tyrosine have the higher probabilities of occurrence in the beta sheets the next is uh, beta turn it is the secondary structure so uh, primary is the uh, linear structure and when it forms the secondary structure it may be alpha helix or beta sheets the next one is beta turn so it may be helix loop helix structure or beta alpha beta turn or beta meander or beta barrel barrel turns the reverse turn usually happens with uh, two amino acids one is proline and glycine well, let us know about uh, Ramachandran plot. Before uh, knowing it, uh, he is Dr. Uh, Ramachandran. Uh, his co worker is uh, Dr. V. S. C. Segaran. Uh, Ramachandran, born in Ernakulam, studied in St. Joseph's College, uh, Trichirapalli. He was a PhD student of Sir C. V. Raman, who is a Nobel laureate. He published the triple, triple helical structure of proteins in the year 1954. And uh, Ramachandran plot uh, was published in Structural Biology in 1962. It gives the protein secondary structure for molecular biology studies. Still, now we are using this. So, Ramachandran plot. Uh, it is the polypeptide backbone of the protein consists of repeating sequence called peptide bonds. The backbone includes nitrogen, carbon, and carbonyl carbon of the amino acid. The Ramachandran plot uh, displays phi and psi angles, which represents the rotations around the n uh, carbon and carboxyl carbon peptide bonds respectively the ramachandran plot is a graphical representation used to analyze the dihedral angles of the polypeptide protein backbone it provides valuable insights into the allowed and forbidden regions of backbone conformational space helping it to assess the overall protein structure and quality of the protein model so it will appear like this so it will have uh, four uh, quadrants so one is uh, beta sheet quadrant then alpha helix quadrant then you will have a left handed alpha helix in the middle it will have a random coil uh, quadrant the next is the tertiary structure of proteins so usually it will appear like this it will have a polypeptide uh, backbone it will have uh, ionic bonds uh, lysine and uh, aspartame are responsible for the ionic bonds it will have disulfide bonds with the 
sulfur containing amino acids are present and then hydrophobic bonds non polar amino acids form the uh, hydrophobic bonds apart from this uh, polar r groups uh, cause uh, hydrogen bonds and van der waals bonds the tertiary structure of protein refers to the three dimensional spatial arrangement of the entire polypeptide chain it is the final level of uh, protein structure and is primarily determined by the interactions between the amino acid uh, chains that is the r groups that are far apart in the primary sequence but come together in the folded structure it has the following characteristics folding of the polypeptide chain hydrophobic core hydrophilic surface secondary structural elements domains and ligand binding sites and some proteins have a quaternary structure among them are hemoglobin the most important are hemoglobin and dna polymerase then the quaternary structure of proteins the quaternary structure of protein refers to the arrangement of multiple polypeptide subunits also known as protein subunits or protomers to form a functional protein complex in other words it describes how individual protein subunits come together uh, interact with each other to create a larger biologically active unit key features of uh, the quaternary structure include uh, subunit interactions oligomerization assembly stability and cooperative effects let us see the disorders of protein structure so first is uh, elhers danlos uh, syndrome it is a collagen disorder affecting the skin joints and blood vessels then alzheimer's disease it's a neurodegenerative disease uh, caused by misfolded uh, protein aggregate uh, in the neurons then sickle cell anemia it is mutation in the gene of the beta globulin protein uh, abnormal tertiary structure of the protein causes this hemolysis how these proteins are helpful in drug discovery you can know this uh, from the sites uh, pdb data bank uh, protein data bank or uniprot cisprot there are several proteins uh, which are submitted in this through x ray crystallography or NM nmr and you can know the number of chains in the particular protein you can know the sequence length uh, which type of organism this protein is present and uh, whether any uh, drug discovery ligands are present in the protein or whether it is apo protein you can learn from the these sites uh, the latest uh, covid related proteins are also submitted in the protein uh, so data banks such as pdp uniprot or swissprot well, let us uh, remember uh, some of the definitions polypeptide is a linear chain of amino acids linked together by peptide bonds the primary structure of the protein refers to specific sequence of amino acids in the polypeptide chain alpha helix an alpha helix is a common secondary structure found in the proteins it is right handed tightly coiled and compact three dimensional arrangement of polypeptide bone backbone of the protein it has a helical shape uh, stabilized by hydrogen bonds and has uh, defined polarity then beta sheets also known as uh, beta strands or beta pleated sheets uh, this is one of the secondary structure the backbone of the beta strand is almost fully extended with repeating backbone dihedral angle pattern called phi and psi angles it has parallel anti parallel sheets beta bulges and loops ribbon in the context of uh, protein visualization and representation a ribbon is a common method uh, used to depict the 3d structure of the protein in a simplified and visually appealing manner the ribbon representation highlights the secondary structural elements of the protein such as uh, alpha helices and beta sheets while preserving the overall backbone path it's important to note that the ribbon representation is just a schematic representation does not provide any information about the exact positions of individual atoms or side chains in a protein so for a more detailed analysis and understanding the proteins interactions and active sites space filling model or ball, ball and stick model may be used so it's a very short uh, info of uh, the protein structure i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel and follow all the videos and score well in your exams